Hi church, welcome to today's devotion. My name's Darren. I'm sure you remember me from yesterday and I hope you don't mind me taking another day just to talk about one of my favourite Bible characters. As I said yesterday, there are so many incredible characters in the Bible, men and women who are inspiring and influential and who made a significant impact and difference in history. Today I'm going to look at a character in the Bible who only gets a short mention, but who is someone that Jesus was amazed at. He literally took Jesus' breath away. Imagine that. We meet this character in Matthew 8 verse 5. He's not got a name, he's just called the Centurion. And it says this, when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a Centurion came to him asking him for help lord my servant is paralyzed and suffers greatly jesus said to him shall i come and heal him the centurion replied catch these words lord i do not deserve to have you come under my roof but just say the word and my servant will be healed for myself i am a man under authority with soldiers under me i tell this one go and he goes that one come and he comes i say to my servant do this and he does it when Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to the people following him, Truly I tell you, I have, found, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. Wow. I say to you that many will come from the east and west and will take their places at the feast of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of the kingdom will be thrown aside into the darkness where they'll be wa weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go let it be done just as you believed it would and his servant was healed at that moment the centurion came to jesus because he needed something he maybe tried everything and it had not worked and he possibly come to a point where it was like well this is it this is the servant's lot in life and and this is how it's going to be and maybe he was settling but then jesus came to capernaum Jesus arrived and the centurion, probably hearing from others in different areas and cities, knew that Jesus could make a difference and bring um, a change to this situation. We read from the account that the centurion's servant was paralyzed and suffering greatly. He came to Jesus and told him this and Jesus replied, not uncommonly with a question, shall I come and heal him? Jesus often replied with a question, asking people what they wanted or what he should do. He was giving ownership to people and asking them to take responsibility. The centurion replied in this case with something that blew Jesus' mind and amazed him. Verse 8, the centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve you to have come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. The centurion understood the power and authority wasn't in Jesus' presence, it was in his word. And when Jesus speaks, what he says has to come into being and alignment. The centurion also trusted Jesus' word, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. He knew that if Jesus spoke, it would happen. We can learn from the centurion, an unnamed Roman soldier, to believe in the power and authority of Jesus' word and to trust his word. What he speaks to you will come to pass. John 1 verse 14 says, The word became flesh and dwelled amongst us. Jesus is the word. So when we read and digest the word, the Bible, it starts to work in our lives. It takes a hold in your life and brings things to life, heals, hurts and pains and helps us navigate life successfully. When we apply the word and live by the word, strength and peace come, hope rises, suffering goes we don't have to settle for things we simply have to get the word and speak it get into the word and speak it the word is power and authority and will bring lasting change to our to our your circumstance so trust the word and start to declare over your life and circumstance start to declare the word over your life and circumstance be like the centurion a person of faith and trust not someone who settles but someone who speaks and trusts the word Love you, church. Have a great rest of your day, and I may see you soon. Bye.